Hi Pisces, this is your reading with me for the 31st of January to the 6th of February. So we're going to see what's coming through. Now this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for Pisces. And I just wanted to mention before I start that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase a personal reading with me, a personal service with me, which I also offer down below as well, so many different things. So definitely check out, you know, the description box below or my website. Um, there's also intention items on my website, which is shopmoonlightguidance.com. These intention items are meditated with, these are saged, and they are really, really special because a lot of these items you will not find anywhere else. And so there's lots of items for different intentions you have. And then in those categories, there's, you know, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards. There's candles and sage bundles and teas and ornaments and all sorts. So definitely do check it out if you are interested. And also the review section is at the bottom of my website. So you can definitely check that out as well to see how thousands of people have seen results with these items. Okay, so Pisces, um, I'm going to start first of all, let's start with tarot. For this week, 31st, well, there you are. Hello, Pisces. Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? <laughs> um, so it's 31st to the 6th of February. Now, we have got the High Priestess. Now, this is really a, a very strong Pisces energy. And we've also got here as well the Page of Pentacles. I'm just going to grab the Oracle cards. Ooh, we have here four cards. Okay, so you're the only sign that has actually got like four signs shuffled out. I can clearly see that many of you are struggling, especially emotionally, mentally, spiritually, you're, you're struggling. And this week is really about being patient with yourself. This week is really about accepting yourself. It's about taking care of yourself. I think that things will definitely get better for you. This um, message here is really powerful because you've got so much blue, right? The blue is also a very calming, very healing color. It's also um, symbolic of peace and it's also symbolic of the calm. The other thing as well is that we've got a lot of purple here, which also represents, again, that sort of peace and calm energy, right? So that's another thing here as well that I'm really picking up on. Now, of course, you know, blue and purple are to do with the crown chakra, third eye chakra and the throat chakras, which are it's basically your entire like head, right? Like that covers your entire head. So some of you may find that you cry a lot, right? Some of you might find that you look, I mean, you know, we've got here sort of drinks and things like that. You might find that, you know, I'm not saying that you're going down that path, but we, we do see here that, you know, you, some of you may feel like, you know, you just kind of want to not really think about things um, in that sense. And then of course, you know, we have also got um, a lot of energy in regards to the water because you are feeling extremely sensitive during this time you're feeling very emotional and overwhelmed now some of you might have been dealing with someone who is narcissistic and someone who really just thinks about themselves is really just um well they, they only really think about themselves and care about themselves and so you might think to yourself well this is frustrating this is overwhelming you might even be dealing with someone who themselves has been dealing with someone narcissistic and so they project all of that back onto you and it just creates in you a lot of trauma a lot of frustration, a lot of sadness. And the interesting thing here is we've got watching and waiting, which means that you're being patient with yourself, you're taking care of yourself, you're trying to look after yourself, and also you're trying to heal codependency. Because the thing is, right, if we didn't have the high priestess, I do need to get the rest of the cards out. Now, let's say we didn't have the high priestess, I would need to, you know, grab a lot more cards. The fact that we've got you in such a powerful state, which is the High Priestess, this Pisces energy, with these two pillars and the energy here of, you know, really sitting in your power, I like where this reading is going because not only this week do you find this power and this confidence within yourself where you feel so much stronger within yourself and you feel like you can be yourself and you're happy within yourself, we also really do have just such a significant and strong energy in relation to the fact that you are taking things slow for yourself and steady for yourself, okay? And then the Page of Pentacles is really interesting because some of you have accepted your fate and you're like, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. I am sick and tired of just 
dealing, you know, with some of these emotions and these feelings. I just want to live happily and I want joy and I want fulfillment, you know, which I think is interesting. And it's interesting because this very person that has caused you this pain and trauma may come to you and have something to say. And I need to know what they're going to say. Actually, you need to know what they're going to say as well. So hold on. Let me grab these cards. I'm upset with myself, which is something that we did see. So, um, Saturn is doing something, well, Saturn is definitely doing something this week, okay, and it has been doing this, I think, for a while, um, I forgot what the actual term of it was called, and then, of course, there was a Mercury retrograde, and so you got Mercury retrograde shadow period, you will feel emotional this week, I'm not even going to lie to you, I'm not going to lie to you, right, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my god, it's all going to be amazing, right? Like, if you will find yourself um, purging out emotions and, and feeling uh, lighter after doing so, right? Because once you release all of that, you will feel lighter and brighter. I'm not saying that you're going to, like, literally cry and just be so depressed this week. I actually think that what's going to happen is there's a lot of acceptance that comes from actually having felt like this, which I think is actually lifting you up. So, you know, some of you may feel upset with yourself, but I feel like the other person that's treated you this way is actually going to be upset with themselves and actually realize that as you're becoming stronger, Longer, they are suddenly having these realizations as to what they've lost. The spiritual imbalance tends to happen a lot, actually. This happens also, um, I'm just going to give you an example. Exes usually come back as well when the other person has moved forward. It's so, so, so fascinating how that works, but it's so true. Now, I'm not, you know, saying that this person is your ex, but I'm just giving you an example, right? Is that when you are kind of at peace with something, that's usually when that thing comes together. It's also true that people gain a lot of money, for example, when they don't really care so much about it, or they are just doing the best that they can, and they've just accepted where they are right now. And that's exactly what I see happening here, is that when you kind of just accept that you know you are where you are and that you can take responsibility for your healing and you can take care of yourself, boom. We see here this apology. We see here this sense of them being upset with themselves and potentially coming forward to tell you some kind of truth and be much more open towards you. Okay, so that's interesting. And we've also got, I hope you don't hate me, which is a big, big, big opening. Um, that clearly goes to show that they feel bad about how they have treated you and how they have been towards you. See, two of wands, it's almost like they've been looking out into the world and realizing that nobody has the heart, the soul, and the kindness to treat them the way that you have treated them. And so that is triggering them big time. So basically, I have to tell you this basically before it happens, because obviously, um, do you have to accept this person? Absolutely not. You don't have to, right? The thing here is that I'm telling you about something that I see is going to happen, right? So long as, of course, you are taking care of yourself and putting yourself first. Um, and then, basically, it's your choice as to what you choose to do. Do not ever forget that you have free will in situations like this that are so difficult and challenging and uh, also upsetting. You know, you always have choice. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my god, you have to accept this person. I know they did you wrong, but they really feel bad, you know. I, I, I know, because, um, you know, even the dog agrees in the next door neighbor's house. <laughs> I just heard, I heard it going woof, woof, woof. I take that as a um, affirmation. Oh no, sorry, confirmation from the dog next door. It's true. Like you have the ability to choose what you want to do. Okay. Just because they feel sorry doesn't mean that that's the right thing, right? Just because they say they're going to change and do better doesn't mean you have to accept them, right? Yeah. Okay. So we've got the four of pentacles. So clearly this was a situation that has been, you know, quite stagnant, stuck, not feeling the best. Let's be honest. The star here is about healing. So focusing on your personal healing is what opens the doorway for them to do this in this week. Okay. And trying to heal any kind of codependency that you have and trying to at least work through a little bit of the trauma. I'm not saying that you have to be perfectly healed this week. No, 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 because healing is always a process, but to try and take care of yourself, trying to put yourself first, looking after you is what opens the floodgates for them to feel bad as to how they have treated you, makes them reflect and really think about their actions and choices to then come towards you in a much more mutual way. And <laughs> I literally just flipped them both over at the same time. And, right? and do this. 
there you go. Like, it, <laughs> both of the cards have an angel at the top, and both of them are the lovers, you know, like, both of them have this lover energy, and there you go. Like, this is, this is what I see happening. I see an apology, I see them coming towards you, and I see them very much so having something to say and having something to offer you, and that is literally what we have. I mean, you just can't make that up. I mean, that's a pretty significant um, message as my cards are actually getting in the way here. Let me just stack these. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, there we go. All right, Pisces, this is what I see happening here. Take care of yourself, put yourself first, look after you. You are very important. In fact, you are number one, right, on your priority list. So this is what we have. Um, now, if you found that this, um, if you claim this reading or you found that it resonated, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, definitely let me know because, well, I would, you know, love to know. If you would like to check out the description box below. Definitely feel free to do so. There's items, uh, intention items, there's services that I offer, there's a free reading giveaway, there's the personal readings. There's a lot that I offer, honestly. <laughs> Don't ever feel pressured though. Um, but it's all there and you can definitely check it out. And what else do we have? Oh yes, TikTok and Instagram. Readings are posted on there every single day for your liking. So definitely check those out as well. All right, so yeah, everything's listed down below though. Um, so yeah, take care of Pisces. I'll see you all very soon. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.